Welcome back. We're talking to Stonewall King, the bartender at the uh, Napoleon House. Apparently a favorite hangout of Gabriel's. And he didn't know anything about snakes, so let's ask him about St. John's Eve, which I doubt he'll know anything about either. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is it's some kind of voodoo holiday. You're not much of help, are you? What's the significance of St. John's Eve? People who believe in that stuff think it's a real special night. Magical. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? People who believe... Alright. Maybe you speak French. Cabri saint Cor mean anything to you? Does the phrase Cabri saint Cor mean anything to you? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh. Then I probably don't know anything about it. Well, that's too bad. How about Schattenjäger? Maybe your German is better. And that's not a drink either. Have you ever heard of a Schattenjäger? Never heard of it. It's like a Jägermeister. Wait, no it's not. Let's ask him about some things that he might actually know about. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. I guess that's true. Tell me about yourself. A good... All right, all right. We won't bother you about it. Let's ask about the other people here. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd? The ones you see are mostly regulars. That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. In other words, they're in love. Anybody else? What can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They played every day for 20 years. Sam? The one with the purple jacket? He's lost every one of those games. It's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree gree and stuff. Really? Thanks. Wow, losing for... 20 years. That's a serious losing streak. It sounds like all he needs is some confidence. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? I'd call you a regular, Gabe. And one of our local writer celebrities, too. Been coming in here, what? 10 years now? Mm, don't remind me. We're still waiting for that bestseller. Don't hold your breath. Writer? Yes. Celebrity? Not so much. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? That's about all I can say about this crowd. All right, um, we can ask you about Sam and Voodoo. So what has Sam told you about Voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a Voodooine and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch. And the next day, he went up and talked to the girl. And, sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife. <laughs> Poor guy. Hmm. Sounds like Sam does take that voodoo stuff seriously. And again, it sounds like that was just a case where he needed some confidence. And apparently, the Grigri gave it to him. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? That's about all I can remember. All right, I guess we'll have to talk to him about it. Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes, you know? Like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. I like drums, but this character really gets on my nerves. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say, enough already. Sounds like my life. All right. Tell me about the street musicians around here. Don't know what else I could say. I guess that's it. Let's uh, see if we can talk to some of the other people here, particularly Sam. 
because he is into voodoo, and therefore might be able to help us. But uh, let's not neglect the others. Our young man is deep into conversation with his girlfriend and feeling no pain. A young woman is enjoying drinks with her boyfriend. Hmm, kind of cute. Nah. Plus, she's here with her boyfriend, so no chance, Gabriel. I'm sure they'll appreciate being interrupted. Hi, how's it going? Could you excuse us? We're talking here. Hello there. Excuse me. I was talking to the lady. And she was listening raptly, I'm sure. I'm sure. Can I ask you some questions? I'm trying to be with my lady here, pal. Far bit for me to stand in the way of romance. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. You want to know my son? Uh, on second thought, I don't think you could help. Forget it. Yeah. She sounds like she has the IQ of a brick. Alright, the chess players then. A man in a loud tie stares morosely at a chessboard. A sharp-eyed gentleman in a grey sports coat hunches over a chessboard, chuckling to himself. So this is Sam, the guy who always loses. And who apparently is into voodoo. Nothing like a good game of chess, huh? Yeah, well, this isn't a good game. This is torture. Oh, well. Have fun. What do you guys do when you're not playing chess? I used to be a jeweler. Marcus here was a butcher. Come to think of it, he still is. Now we just sit here and play chess all day. Actually, Marcus plays. I just sit here and let him win. Really? You used to be a jeweler? You pack of wood. <laughs> I could have sworn you used to be uh, a doctor at Planet Express. You come here a lot, don't you? Every ever-loving day of my life for 20 years. So, having a good game? Shh. I'm concentrating. Fine. All right. So, having a shh, fine. All right. All right, let's see if we can interrogate Sam. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt your game, but could I ask you a few questions? What game? This isn't a game. It's a slaughter. He's right, you know, so let me die in peace, would you? It seems he won't. Uh, let us ask questions until the game is over. So we're just gonna have to wait for that. Or maybe we should uh, help uh, fate along a bit. But right now we cannot do so. And there's one other guy here. An unhappy looking man explores the dangers of drinking alone. You know, Sam, you're just about the worst chess player I ever knew. Shut up, Marcus. What's up? Buddy, I think the place you're looking for is down on Bourbon. Um, I think you misunderstood my intentions. What's up? Can I ask you some questions? I'm here to relax, friend. Buzz off. Right. Sorry. Okay, well at least we uh, found out about some voodoo stuff. Although not much. Check me! Yeah, the game finished, but they'll just start a new one. So... We can't uh, actually talk to Sam yet. 
I think uh, we've been everywhere, so nothing else to do but go back home. Hey, Grace. Here I am. I wish you wouldn't wear that coat outside in June. I could smell you from here. Well, we have to wear that coat. It looks stylish and stuff. Dramatic, isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after school. Hey, kids. Bruno, how nice. Gee, a customer. Of yours, hardly. How's the flower business? Well, better than the used book business, I see. Rare books. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Hmm. I wonder how much you would give uh, us for it. How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Well, I guess I don't need the money that badly. From the looks of this shop, I'm sure you will, my boy. And soon. Well, that was, uh... Not very useful. Apparently this Bruno character wants the painting from our dad. And to be, uh... Honest, it kind of creeps me out, so I wouldn't really mind getting rid of it. But I suppose family heirloom and all that. Um, I was trying to look at the Dramatic, coat. Dramatic, isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after splurging on that coat. <laughs> he has a thing for black leather. And I agree with him. Nothing like a black leather coat. Grace's coat is a simple but classic trench coat. Gabriel hates people with good taste. <laughs> now there's one thing left to do before this day ends. And that is ask Grace to do some research. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? We can ask her to look into Malia Getty, whom uh, Gabriel is understandably interested in. Not just because she's a, a possible witness uh, of the murder eater. Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you could get an address... Mm-hmm. They're murders. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? Nope. That's about it. I can't think of anything. Okay. And that means we are ready to start uh, day two. But we'll do it in the next video.